ο Σεβευτικό έχει καταφέρει να είναι ένα πολυσυλλεκτικό φορέα, θα έλεγα ένα σπάνιο θεσμό για την Ελλάδα, που ε, έχει υψηλέ δόσει, να το πούμε, αλτρουισμού ω προ τα μέλη του και την ίδια στιγμή βάζει το, το, το καλό τη χώρα πάνω από, από τα στενά, αν θέλετε, ε, στενά ενδιαφέροντα των μελών του. Over the past three or four years, we've seen about 100 startups um, being founded in life sciences, raising about 130 million. Um, and this is all new stuff. This is this is all all new stuff. Um, and I want to focus on the bar chart below, where we see the um, stratification of different startups. And the vast majority of uh, of of new startups are in the digital health space and in diagnostics. And the idea was basically very simple. Can we create something in Greece that will put us closer to what we call innovation in biotechnology? Now, this is a, a big task, a big objective, a big dream, I, I think. But at the same time, the whole idea is that we need to take some, some first steps forward in that direction. So the concept basically was the creation of this Athens Life Tech Park, as we call it, which is a modern uh, space that will actually try to participate in this biotechnology Uh, uh, arena. If you read the promotional materials from Ireland as to why you should go there, you become pretty really convinced mm -hmm. it's a preferred destination. They've got lots of advantages. You correctly pointed out that the tax thing is no longer the driver. It's a driver, but it's not the biggest driver. Now the biggest driver is the existing infrastructure, the, the existing ecosystem. And one other thing, To be sure we all understand this, the bulk of what goes on in Ireland is manufacturing. The major venture capital firms in the US right now, you know, all the big names, Flagship, Polaris, you know, Third Rock, 5AM, what they often do now is they have, like Flagship, Flagship calls it venture labs. Mm -hmm. They actually have their own labs where if they get an academic idea, by the way, A good portion of academic research is non-reproducible, either because the academic scientist was sloppy, or lazy, on occasion fraudulent, or they use wrong statistics. Okay, statistical analysis. So, if they get a great idea, looks promising, before they go put 150 million dollars in the Series A, they'll spend two years and 10 million doing some basic experiments to validate and produce. Now for them, you know, this is now production job. So if that, five, if that 10 million could be done with 5 million, they can do twice as many ideas. So go convince all of these people to become the venture labs opportunity. A lot of people think that a real smart executive can sell effectively a biotech company to pharma. Not the case. You cannot go to a pharma executive, a CEO, a CFO, a head of BD, and say, here's why you should buy this company. For them, they're not, for them to get to the point of deciding to buy a company is usually after a year or two of strategic analysis, planning, deliberation, due diligence, domain analysis, and then they say, okay, these are the two companies we want. Then they go, and if you're clever, negotiate on behalf of a small company, you can get them to pay you a lot of money because they want it now. So buy the companies are bought, they're not sold. Let's say take a Biogen. A Biogen's market value is say 40 billion, 50 billion, some of them, okay? Uh, they're looking at a company that's going to cost them 500 million to buy. They can write a check for this. It's not easy. So why would they buy it? 100% for strategic reasons. Mm -hmm. This company is a phase one compound which is very compatible with what we do. That's important. More often than not, one pe something people don't really appreciate. Let's say we have a lead scientist in the company who has a very good relationship and spent time working with the lead scientist in the small company. There's a lot of respect for them. He will vouch and say, look, I, the work they're doing is very good. Here's what they're finding. You know, their particular approach makes sense. I trust this guy, I respect this guy, you know, let's do it finally in the show, we'll take a chance, if it's strategic.